We're on a hunt, a treasure hunt. So be it resale shops, thrift stores, or even estate sales, how do you navigate that world? Well, the one person who's gonna show us how today is David Lackey. Hello, David. Hello, Artie. Ready for the challenge? I am. Let's go do it. Okay. Estate sales, secondhand stores, consignment shops like this, there's always a glut of China, and you can buy it so cheap. This is a, is a great set. It's about 50 or 75 years old. It's 64 pieces for $68. That's a dollar a piece. You can get <laughs> Wedgwood for cheaper than the least expensive new China that you can buy. This is probably from the 1950s or 1960s. It was expensive, fine crystal. And now you can buy a set of 13 Fostoria goblets for $20. You can't buy new cheap crystal for that. Buy it and use it. Use your imagination. You don't have to serve punch in that. You, if you're making potato salad for 30 people, why not? <laughs> so another good thing to find in a shop like this is furniture. Right, there's lots of great furniture. You can buy secondhand furniture, five, 10, 20 years old. This is a great example. This you were is, wandering around and this caught your eye. Yes, so this is an American Victorian style dresser, but this type of furniture has fallen out of style. So now you can buy this type of thing for a few hundred dollars. And this is solid, all wood furniture. It's a great value, it's a great piece with character, and it can fit your budget. It's great, it's big, it's impressive, and it's again, it's a bargain. You always wanna sit in it. It's not comfortable, <laughs> don't buy it. A lot of resale shops like this have a, a, a system where they, the price automatically is lowered by the date, by how long they've had it. So every so often, the price is reduced. So if you don't wanna pay that price, you can check back in a few weeks or a month. So you play the gamble, though. So even when you get to the lowest price, sometimes you can step even further. Yes, they have a, usually have a room or a section where everything's been marked down to the rock bottom cheap price. So you really want to shop those because things sit around and they don't, why they don't sell, I don't know. If you want to drink your, your morning coffee out of a 200 year old cup, you can, and you don't have to pay much for it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look at that tray. If you like it, just go ahead and buy it. Tweets, my lord. But a lot of the new stuff, what they do is they put it in big baskets or big carts and they roll it out. Always look in these baskets and see what's in. I'm crazy about this. This is- I am too, I'm so upset it's sold. It's, 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 from the, like the 1870s or 80s. This curved front is, I've never seen that before. If you buy this, no one is ever gonna come in your house and say, I've got one just like it. It's not gonna <laughs> happen. Everything I have on, my clothing and my jewelry is all secondhand. If you know what you're doing and you spend a little time and do a little homework, you can furnish not only your home, but your body with great quality for a, a really good price. With your vast knowledge and understanding of items and where they come from, what can you tell me about this? <laughs> I can tell you it's really cute. And sometimes that's all it needs to be. I think this guy is awesome. <laughs> that's how you learn, by touching, looking at it, examining it. A few little scratches on it don't bother me because those can be touched up. I like old silver with a copper showing through. Oh, I do? like that. I've got some at home. Well, I got a What's gift for you. You could buy it for the frame. If you're an artist, buy old frames and, and you can buy them pretty inexpensively. If it's something that speaks to you and you like it, enjoy it. Enjoy it, yeah. You're creating a new life for an old piece. Thank you.